beautiful Cancerian friends and welcome to your horoscope for September of 2020 where this month Cancer it's really beautiful you've got Mercury and the Sun moving into the energy of Libra lighting up this fourth house space so there's going to be some home family um, decisions that are going to be made but also I feel like this month there's family or there's just support that is available to you this month because I have to tell you I sat with your horoscope the longest this month cancer because it just is this sense I continue to have this sense that you are in transition in some way cancer it's almost this space as I look at it and it's shown to me you're you've been here for a while and now you're moving to something else you're moving through this very transitional space and as you're going through it the way is just not perfectly clear not to mention that we've got Mars that is retrograde this month so it's not completely clear so it's almost as if you need the the support to have the grounding and the steady and I really do think that you have that this month despite whatever it's looked like you know whether it's been super great for you 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 haven't had a job or a relationship in forever whatever it looks like for you cancer this month in the stage of transition you are putting distance between what has been in the past and where you're going next so I think it's actually a lovely month to have that level of support now the other thing I want to tell you before we jump into some more goodness is that this month um your sixth house, which is the house of health and, and daily routines and things like that, is actually empty this month. So you don't have anything really going on there. But in the general reading, in your solar reading, Jupiter is the ruler of your sixth house, okay? Because it's ruled by Sagittarian energy. So one of the things I continue to think of is that this month, there are several different um, harder aspects that come to your energy, to the Cancerian energy. There's an opposition as we start the month. There's a square that comes along. And these things are tense aspects that put pressure on you, on your physical body, on this transition that you're making. So you may not be thinking, oh, I really need to pay attention to my health or I really need to whatever and are what I'm eating or I just probably have a little um, heartburn, right? It's not that. I really want you to make sure that you do pay attention to your health this month, even though there's nothing necessarily going on in those houses. You're taking on a fair amount of energy this month and I just don't want it to be something that you miss making a priority because it's not highly lit up in your horoscope, okay? All right. I'm done being your mom right now. <laughs> and let's get in here and talk about what's going on this month. First of all, the autumn equinox gifts are out and up. So if you'd like to do a check-in session, a longer session, whatever that looks like for you, it's down in the description box. This month in the eat and greets, we've got Gary Caton coming back, getting us ready for Mercury Retrograde. Becca Tarnas, Michael A. Bryan will be here, Christina Caudill, fellow YouTuber Athen Chimenti will be here and we're going to talk about sidereal astrology and just tons going on in the eat and greets. I'll keep you posted about all of them. Now let's peel down this month and see what's going on right at the beginning of the month on the second and see look I'm already seeing it. We've got a full moon happening in the energy of Pisces. This is going to light up and shed a whole bunch of light over your ninth house. Now this is publishing, marketing, broadcasting, expansion, higher learning, Faith is lit up for you again, and you've been really been in the faith boat this last couple years, Cancer. I think your faith has been put to the test, and that's not a negative thing, right? You got to get under a little pressure to grow. So I feel like new attitudes, new beliefs, new all of this stuff has really been coming out of here of the ninth house as well. Training, education, things like that. September could definitely be a busy month as Jupiter and Saturn are coming out of retrograde in the energy of Capricorn. So that just gives us the judge to achieve and move forward. So this could definitely be a full moon that as it's shedding its light, you're getting to see where faith and all of these other adjustments are at. But the other thing I feel like the Pisces energy asks us, and I think you can really resonate with it as a fellow water energy, is it's going to ask you in these areas, where, where are you suffering? Where do you need to let go of? Where do you need to allow this transition to happen? Where is it okay to become the next thing? Where is it okay that every experience you have had so far was actually beautiful and was like a training course for you in life that has prepared you for where you're going next? I feel like that's a beautiful question under this particular full moon. Now, for some of you too, you will be completing certifications, trainings, um, legal cases could be coming to a shift in their energies as well okay on the fifth we've got mercury moving into the energy of libra this lights up the fourth house space libra is so beautiful for 
being diplomatic. And when Mercury moves into Libra, they actually enjoy kind of being with each other. So it's beautiful for bringing harmony, bringing conversation, bringing good negotiations to all of your relationships and conversations. Now, again, like I said, I feel like in the fourth house space, it also makes your home a little bit more social. Maybe you're having conversation or you're organizing something from your home. Maybe you are put in a position where you're having to work more from home. But either way, there's this kind of garnered family support, housing support kind of energy that is very much so associated with that beautiful um, Venetian energy that comes through Libra. So I really like that for you. Okay, so some of you are going to be doing some decorating. It looks like it's very artistic, like you're trying to get artistic, whatever your version of artistic is, because that's the thing with Libra. It's Libra's version of artistic. So whatever artistic looks like for you in your house, looks like you'll definitely be taking on some of that. That's wonderful. On the sixth, we've got Venus entering into the energy of Leo, so lighting up the second house space. Whenever Venus comes to the second house, she's very comfortable there. She likes to bring a little bit of money, a little bit of harmony, a little bit of creativity to the table. So with Leo there, you may also be feeling like you want to spend a little money. You want to go buy something luxurious. Did you have an influx of money come in for you? So you're wanting to go do something kind of creative with it. Maybe it's you're buying all the stuff for your house or you're doing, you're spending your money on things that establish your area in being just more luxurious. Yeah. And for some of you, you've been working for it for a while. This is going to bring the opportunity to make money to your doorstep. So I love that, that idea for you, especially because we've got Mars going retrograde just on the ninth in the energy of Aries at the top of the chart. Okay. So this is an energy as Mars goes retrograde until November 13th, where in your career area, you might start to see not that things slow down, but you feel like you're slowing down. It's like, do I really still love what I do? Do I still like this? Like the motivation, you're kind of allergic to motivation at work. You know, and instead of freaking out, you don't get weird during a retrograde, you get wise, right? So use this energy to re-look at what you're doing. Re-look at where you're putting your action, where you're where your desire around work or your desire around, even for some of you, this is going to be the desire around marriage because in the 10th house, it's not just the work that you do, but it's also the titles that we keep you as, the reputation. What do we know you as? And were you single and now Mars is going retrograde and you're like, what am I doing? I am ready to settle down or I don't think I want to be in this, known as this thing anymore. This is certainly an energy as Mars is during this retrograde, you're going to be under revision with this particular area mostly how you see yourself and how you identify with a huge desire to still be doing what you are doing in this area and like I said this month shows you in some kind of transition so you're definitely moving away from something and you might need the slow down energy of Mars to be able to help you do that I wouldn't be surprised either if Venus in the second house is showing you a different value, that you can take on a different value. And as Mars is retrograde and he's slowed down enough, you're like, I can do this to make money. I can become this and have the next value that I want in my life. It's really going to be an interesting set of months. Now, Mars is going to do this retrograde from 28 degrees all the way until 15 of Aries. So mark that out on your chart. On the 13th, we've got Jupiter coming out of retrograde in the energy of Capricorn. Now, while he's coming out at 17 degrees of Capricorn in your seventh house in the solar, this is great because first of all, it means relationship stuff can keep moving, can get moving more forward, right? But more so than that, I think that Jupiter has taken you back in this Capricorn energy in your relationships and showed you the value of maybe needing some training, the value of maybe needing to look at, do you have the discipline that you need to have the relationships you want in your life? The value of going back and looking over all of the relationships in your life, including cancer, the ones with faith, your current faith. What do you believe in? What do you do? Actually practice what you believe in. Jupiter retrograde is wisdom flipped backwards. Capricorn has said, do we have what we need to achieve 
in this area to really achieve and that was around your relationships so now as Jupiter is out of retrograde this is nothing new but you're going to get to put those things that you've learned the training the self-discipline into practice in this area of your life and have good things serious things mature things next level relationships to come into your life so the other thing is that as Jupiter is out of retrograde like I said he acts in the solar as your health planet so this could be a time too where you are really reprioritizing your health after the uh, 13th of this month to make sure you're taking a look at it including mental health to make sure you're on par with where you need to be okay on the 17th we've got this new moon happening in the energy of Virgo and this is going to be at 25 degrees of Virgo okay so this is lighting up your third house space at the new moon the sun and the moon are together anything's possible. You plant your seeds of intention for what you want to study. Virgo's highly analytical, loves that information. So what are you studying? Like I said, this could be a busy study month for you. This could be a busy communication month for you. This could just be a busy thinking month. If you're transitioning, you're thinking about, well, I was here. Now, where do I want to be? What does this next thing look like for me? If you did need to look for work, even though Mars is retrograde, that may actually be to your benefit this month because even companies will have to slow down a little bit under this Mars retrograde. So you get that resume out and in there and they're going back and seeing where they need to fill in. So if you are looking for work, this could also be a wonderful energy for you. But I also think for some of you, I'm seeing it. You're trying to make a deal, whether you're making the deal with yourself or you're making this deal like you're signing an actual contract that changes how we know you in the world. So this is, I, if let me know if that is you down below, okay? All right, when we get to the 22nd of the month, we have the sun entering into the energy of Libra. So now the sun and Mercury are here in this fourth house. It's full creativity, but busy around the, the home zone. Okay, home, family, real estate, property, all of these things become things that need your attention. But like I said, I think that the support is here for you to do what you need to do in this particular area. This could also be, I'm seeing for someone, you're, you're at a distance with the person that you love or someone you love or you care with, you're at, there you, there's distance between the two of you. And you're trying to close that distance. So this could be a wonderful month for having the conversations you need to to maybe close that distance. Unless it's just physical distance that has you separated, okay? On the 27th, we've got Mercury moving into the energy of Scorpio. This will light up your fifth house space. This is going to get deep, right? Mercury is going to get deep. We're going to have deep, we're going to have deeper conversation. We're going to have conversation that is not superficial. We are going to be going through the details. We're going to be looking at things under a microscope at not a surface level. We want the truth. We want the depth. We want sincerity. We want deep, intimate conversation, deep, intimate thinking. We want release. We want healing. We want passion. We want power when Mercury is in the energy of Scorpio. And I think that you will be taking on those kinds of conversations. Now in the fifth house too, <laughs> somebody, your children are about to get a little bit expensive this month at this point in the month there's something that they need and you're spending extra money on it this month mercury has definitely got the kids getting a little bit busy and it's not like you can't do it right so whether it's it's therapy or it's a gadget or it's something that they need you're going to spend a little bit of money on that it looks like but also in this area i think this is the conversation do we want to have children do i want to start this new business what do i really want deep down and inside and and what decisions do i need to make at this time to get myself there I think this is a lovely energy to work with um, in, in terms of really getting down into the ushy, gushy, scary places of your self-cancer and seeing what's living down there because going into the, the depths of it is really going to show you the light. And I think that the number one thing that most of us are absolutely afraid of is what we're really good at and what we're really, really built to do. So I look forward to seeing what kind of pops out of this creative um, thinking and this creative decision making that comes out in this fifth house zone for you, okay? As we close out this month, on the 29th, we see Saturn coming out of retrograde, also at 25 degrees of Capricorn. So this is in the seventh house. Now, Saturn for sure comes back out of this retrograde and says, did you learn what I'm trying to teach you about how you've got to show up and what kind of relationships you've got to have in your life to be successful? Did you learn your part about stepping up in, in being in this role and this set of 
um, traditional kind of obligations in your relationships. For somebody, it also it finalized a divorce, I think, that you were going through. It looks like there's settlement to that. As Saturn is now out of retrograde, it's going to be able to bring that fully to a close. The other thing I think is that it just does bring a focus to your relationships. You're very serious about them um, for the rest of this year, Cancer, because they are important to you. Whether it's the family or whether it's a conscious chosen one-on-one -on -one relationship or as I keep saying, your relationship with fate. This month, as Saturn is out of retrograde and we walk forward to closing out 2020, in that stage of transition, you have just landed in a much different place around relationships, and these are the good ones. These are the ones that, that feed your heart, they feed your soul, and because you've leveled up with them, they are also going to give you the freedom that you need to continue to grow and to be and to do what it is that you really want really want to do which that mercury and scorpio is helping you tie that all together mm. it's gonna be a month cancer i look forward to seeing please keep me posted in the comment section down below especially about some of these transition messages that came through who is that is that you what are you working on and to everybody studying out there this month with this uh new moon coming out i'm just sending you good wishes with all of your studies okay all right you guys like this video comment share subscribe i love you a ton and i'll see you next month